A manhunt in inland South Carolina has turned deadly, now reaches all the way out here to the coast. Our Julia Richardson tells us more about what happened and lays out why a law enforcement agency here in the Grand Strand has become involved. The county police are now investigating the death of 27-year-old Alston Maudlin, the man accused of taking aim at two different law enforcers Friday in separate counties in both the Midlands and the upstate. MACB police say it all started last night when Maudlin shot and hurt one of their officers during an attempted traffic stop. We're told the 27-year-old then fled to Lee County, where he's accused of killing a canine and hurting a deputy during another shootout leading up to his death. One man who lives near that gunfight tells our sister station in Columbia, Maudlin knocked on his door just before a brief standoff. An unexpected house call. That neighbor is glad he missed by just a few seconds. Times I got to the back door and look around out the windows and you know see who was out there, and uh, he was gone. And then the police come and told me I had to leave for a minute. Something happened, and I went down probably about two or three miles down the street and sat till everything was over. And they called me and told me that he had got shot and killed out there in the field out there. There's no word yet on exactly who fired those deadly shots, but we'll likely learn more following an Horry County police investigation. As for why that department is involved, a spokesperson tells me it's simply common practice as the agency is a neutral third party. Reporting in the control room, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.